everybody, my name's Amanda from scrimpingmomair.co.uk That is my web address where you can find all of the sizes of everything I make and you can also find a link to my Stamping Up shop. The links are always in the description box just below this video as well. So, without further ado, today I'm going to show you how to make a lovely gift covering this very plain, very dull and very unassuming notebook. And we're going to make it something fancy. We're using the Eastern Palace Suite and you're going to need a piece of cardstock. I'm using Venera, Ven, Ven, Venera Villa. <laughs> very vanilla. <laughs> Dear me. And this measures ten and three quarters inch by four and a quarter inch and then I have a piece of DSP plain DSP and this is going to be used for layering and this measures four and three quarters by four I also have a piece of the foiled paper that comes with the um, Eastern Palace papers and it's a little bit thicker than the normal DSP because it's foiled and this measures uh, four and a quarter by four and three quarters okay now I'm just going to move my DSP out of the way because we're going to do some scoring so first of all we're going to get our very vanilla piece and we're going to score at five and a half five and a half four and a half and five and three quarters okay. and then we're just going to fold that carefully because it's quite a small difference fold and burnish just get my bowl fold out oops all the stuff's falling off my table give that a quick burnish because we want that a nice and crisp edge because that's going to be the um, the edge of the notebook okay so, on the smaller, you'll, you'll see that one's longer than the other, okay? And on the smaller one, this is where we want to layer our DSP. So, um, just bear in mind which is your favourite way of it facing. Like this one here, where I've cut it, I've got some little pieces just dangling over the edge there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that facing upwards, am I? No, I'm going to have it facing towards the shortcut, so towards the short edge, and have your nicest edge here, because this is going to show. Okay, I have to apologise if my if the light on my video uh, changes. It's very, very, very cloudy here in Yorkshire, and it the light keeps going in and out and in and out. So I don't know if it's going to affect the quality of my video. Hopefully not. Okay. So let's have a look. Right, so this is the edge that's going to show, which is the edge near the scarring. So that's where I want my nicest bit. And that's where I want the, uh, you know, the line to be nice and straight. Oh, I've forgotten something. I've forgotten something. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Take that off. I've forgotten. I need to add a magnet. Oh, what an Anna. Right, so I've got these little magnets. Let me get them separated. Put one there. Totally forgot to add my magnets. So I'm using a glue dot. Uh, where's my pokey tool? There we are. It's gone really dark. I wonder if it's going to start raining. <gasps> I hope the. Uh, I hope you can still see what I'm doing. I'm adding a glue dot to my magnet. And I'm just placing it central, uh, about there, about there, I think that'll do. And then I'll glue, glue my DSP back on, oh dear, trust me. You can put your magnets on over the top of your DSP, it just looks neater if you can remember to um, put it underneath. Okay, so the neater one goes towards the fold, which is there. I think we're going to, I think it's really going to chuck it down outside. It's like, it's gone really ominous and really dark. 
I'm just going to press around that magnet so I can remember where it is. Um, if you want to be really, really, really careful, you can measure and put it exactly in the middle. Um, yeah, which I should have done really, but there you go. <laughs> right, so we're going to just put that to one side for a minute and I'm going to score my golden piece and I'm going to score it on the long side, which measures four and three quarters. Now I'm just going to turn it over because I want to fold the other way. So I don't want to score with my uh, perky tool, do I? So I want to score this at one and a half. That one. One and a half. One and three quarters. And two and a quarter. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to move this out of the way and I am going to use my corner rounder. I know we don't have it anymore but most people have corner rounders, just use what you've got. If you don't have one and you have an envelope punch board, use that. If you don't have one you can do it by hand. If you're not uh, Clever at doing it by hand, then just don't bother. I, I just think it looks a little tiny bit neater. Right, so I'm going to fold those scores. And this is why I scored my foiled paper the other way, because you fold in, well I do anyway, I fold into a score line. I want that to be right. So let me find the other one. There's that. I'm going to give those a big squeeze. Okay, and then I can start and put my little notebook together. So, um, I'm going to make it so that, that way, yeah. So we're going to start with the very vanilla first. And it's going to go on with the flap with the magnet is going to go and then your paper is going to open like that. Okay, so it's the other way around than what you'd expect. All right, so I'm going to use Tombow, if I've got any left, so that I can wiggle it about and get it straight if needs be. You can use Fast Fuse, you can use Tear Tape, you can use anything you want. So there we go. So I'm just going to line it up like so, just short of the score line, not dead up on it, okay, remove any excess glue and I'm going to push that back of that notebook onto there, okay, then that shuts like so and then that shuts like so. Now on the back here you've got a small gap, that's fine because you're going to layer over the gold. So again I'm going to, I mean shot, <laughs> use Tombow on this section here, not on the score lines, just on this section here. Okay. And I'm going to... So the edge of the book here wants lining up with this smallest score line. We've got another score line, that's to eat for the ease of opening the book. We want it lining up against that smaller one there. Okay, so if I have it that way and I line it up there, get it central because I have given you the sizes just slightly wider than the notebook and then push it up against the score line and wrap it around the notebook turn it over, let's have a look so we're up against that score line there there we go so that closes like that so now what I want to do is I just want to get my magnet 
and I'm just going to attach it like that. Then get my glue dots, which I've gone where? <laughs> Come on, where the father here? <laughs> get my glue dot, pop it on that magnet there, and then when I close up my book, I can press and the other one is there. Now, if you want, you can punch out some cardstock and put it over the top so that it's a bit of a need to finish. Now, I've got this line here because I'm going to now attach that. Now, I'm happy with it. It's all lined up and it's all straight. I'm going to put some tear tape on here. Do this last and then you know that you've got everything all lined up right. And you've got your magnets right and everything like that. I'm going to remove that. And then I'm going to... I've got... Let it click on my magnet. And I'm just going to push that tear tape down. So that will now attach to the top of my notebook. Just give that a scar. And then you've got that little neat fold there, see, where it will fold back on itself. And that will open and you've got your notebook, okay? But we've not done. We've not done. This is me. I've never done, have I? I've got to add some more. <laughs> I've got a lovely die cut here. Now you can stop here. You could leave that blank. I'm going to just make it a little bit more fancy, just because I can. And I want to. So I'm going to use this same colour here. I'm using Fresh Fig. And I've got one of the beautiful die cuts from the Eastern Palace Thinlets. And I'm using this stamp here, which is from the stamp set. And it's, which one is it? Let's be friends forever. Okay. So let's get some nice ink. And I'm going to try and get it kind of central. And I've got my die cut so that I've got a point at north and a point at south, east and west. So it just gives me a bit of a, a way of lining it up. Okay. And hopefully that's going to stamp nicely. Otherwise I'll just turn it over. I'm not worried. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? And now then, have I got a smoosher? I need a smoosher. <laughs> you know one of them thingies? <laughs> Here it is. A dauber. I'm just going to very lightly ink the edges. This has already got some ink on it, so I'm not adding any more. Um, I've used it for Fresh Fig before, I think. I think it's Fresh Fig. Yep. Okay. I like that. going to add a tassel. I don't know if that's a bit much. I don't know. I don't think I'll bother with tassel. I was going to add a tassel under there like so with some ribbon but I don't know if that's a little bit too much. I don't know if I might actually have that like that. I think I might you know that's quite cute. Uh, I can't decide which way to have it now. That way. I'll have it that way. And so I can attach that. I'm just going to attach it with tear tape, to be honest. About on the top on the top quarter. Oh, I don't know if that's straight. Hold on a minute. That's straight, yeah. I didn't even look if I had it straight. Attach that to the top quarter. Um, you could emboss it with gold embossing uh, powder if you like. I just wanted to use ink. I'm going to attach that about there like so. It's roughly in the middle. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of a gem. A little bit of a gem I think with one of the little glitter enamel dots. I think I'm going to have one there and one here 
and I'm happy, I'm done. And I've got myself a really pretty magnetised notebook. I think that's really, really, really pretty. Oh, that little click is so satisfying. Give it a try. Obviously, you can use whatever papers you like, but that is nicely wrapped all the way around to give you a plain and boring notebook uh, a little bit more of a, a bit more of a, a punch, a bit more of a pizzazz. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Bye.